Well, good afternoon, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, wherever it is that the Lord has you on May 9th, 2024. I am Prophetess Ray A. Doswell, founder of Sela Prophetic Ministries. I'm not going to be on here long. I have an appointment that I have to keep, but I have to share an open vision um, that I had yesterday and also an experience that I had. It's very urgent and it does coincide with everything that um uh, Myself and other remnant prophets have been sharing that we know that something is coming. I do not know specifically what the specific um, event is, but I just know that God has me on high alert. So let me share with you what transpired um, yesterday, okay? So yesterday, as I was getting out of bed, and this was an open vision, I was lifting up my body. I saw bubbles all around me. And when I say bubbles, think of when you go swimming and usually we keep our mouths closed, of course, but you may open your mouth, you'll see bubbles. And I realized that in this open vision, as I'm literally getting up out of the bed, I am submerged in water. That is the vision. And then the vision ends, okay? So what basically the Lord is saying is that there is something coming and I don't know specifically for sure what event out of all the events that we have been shown over the years what is coming. I do know because of the dream that the Lord had shared with me and I shared with you as the body of Christ pertaining to the whirlwinds that those whirlwinds, as I said, in the dream and vision would be events and they would be like layers built upon one another and they would happen right on top of one another nonstop. And that is exactly what we are witnessing all across this nation and even across the world. And it is our responsibility as his children that even though he is warning us, we need to take authority over certain elements. We need to be covering our states, our cities, our nations in the blood of Jesus and asking God for a hedge of protection, asking God for people to come to a place of repentance but this experience that I had yesterday, it's so concerned me because it reminds me of a vision, I'm sorry, of a prophetic dream that I had shared on him many, many, many years ago and on the ministry page of when I was placed um, on Venice Beach, which I'm very familiar with because I lived in Southern California. And in that prophetic dream, this is what this dream reminds me of being submerged underwater. Um, but one of the distinct differences was that it was nighttime. It wasn't daytime, like when I was visited with the visitation on Venice Beach. And that visitation, if you recall, remember I said it felt like it could be morning, maybe mid-afternoon. And out of nowhere, this wave came out of the ocean. And it was at least anywhere from 200 to 300 feet tall. And I literally saw souls submerged in the force of this water. And God allowed me to be placed in the water and yes it was a very frightening experience it was frightening because i literally could see souls fighting with every ounce of their life to try to get out of the force of this water but that was not what was going to take place they were literally in the process of transitioning from this life into eternity okay so that's how it felt when i was getting up out of bed yesterday that i was submerged imagine that you laying in your bed and you wake up and of course you see your walls if you have art but i literally was getting up and i literally was underneath water and it was nighttime and it is a warning from the lord the other thing um i want to share with you is that i was sitting at the table eating lunch um today and when i tell you i felt the lord was so grieved at the generals in the body of christ there is such um a, a grieve that our Father feels, that the Holy Spirit feels at the leadership of clergy in the body of Christ. And when I tell you the judgment of God is getting ready to hit so fiercely in the body of Christ. And it's so grievous to know that there are people that walk in the fivefold ministry, that because they have popularity, because they have fame, because they have clout, that they literally will seduce people into having sexual relationships with them just to be able to preach the gospel in their church. How foul and diabolical is that to do that to the house of the Lord? But what I sense very strongly as God has used me and other remnant prophets that some of the judgments that we will see is actually the same judgments that Eli's sons experienced, Hophanes and Phanes, and that was death. 
The judgment was death because the behavior was so, so foul. Yes, God desires all men to come to repentance so that he can give them deliverance and restoration. But there are so many people in the body of Christ, as I have said years ago, that ministry for a lot of people is a game. This is a game. And what's sad, what they don't realize is that it is a game. It's a real serious one. And it has the ultimate judge who's in control of it. And what people don't realize is that not only does he have the power to judge you in this life, he will judge you in eternity as well. But we're not going to play with his house anymore. We're not going to play with his fire. And we're definitely not going to play with the souls that he's allowed us to um, sometimes teach, prophesy, to help aid, to assist in their walk with God and think that we are going to get away with doing ill things and not be held accountable by him. No, it is, as the Lord said months ago, the spirit of consequence is in the land. And oh, when I tell you the clergy that the Lord is getting ready to come for. Remember that prophetic warning that I gave in 2017 and some people laughed at it, but it surely came to pass, did it not? When the Lord said, Rhea, I'm coming for these leaders and they will have orange jumpsuits on. Remember what the father said he was going to do? He was going to strip them of their economies where they have exploited the body of Christ. He is going to strip them of the fancy clothes, the cars, the status. He was going to strip them and put them in orange jumpsuits. Why the orange jumpsuits? Because that represented being incarcerated. Because some crimes that you commit, fraud. Some, some crimes that you commit, yes, you can be held accountable by the law for committing fraud, sex trafficking, whatever it is. The thing is that God always visits every child of God in private to deal with whatever issues you need to deal with. You need deliverance, you need counseling. You need to be um, at a point where you can be held accountable in ministry, where you are not an island unto yourself and you just don't get to do anything that you want to do. And so I am telling you that the generals in the body of Christ, that what we are classifying as generals, they are coming down and it will be by the hand of the Lord. Okay, so he wanted me to share that with all of you. I want to give you some scriptures in Acts chapter 17. It says, and the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent because he have appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he have ordained, whereof he have given assurance unto all men and that he have raised him from the dead. Luke 17, 26 says, and it was, and so it is in the day of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the son of man. James 3, 1 English standard version says, not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach, we will be judged with greater strictness. Okay. So it is always God's will that we repent. It's just that there are those in the body of Christ who are leaders, who are generals, their heart's not in the right place. It's not in the right place for leading. It's not in the right place for empowering followers. It is a place of power and exploitation and self-gratification, okay? And because of that, it has led many down very, very dark paths. And, oh, what I tell you, to fill our Heavenly Father's grief at what is going on. This is his house. This is not ours. You don't belong to us as his people. We are here to serve you. It's a transactional experience, but our role is to always point you back to the Father and to have a close relationship with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And the fivefold ministry is a very serious ministry and it is nothing to play with. It is nothing to play with. And so um, pray for our leaders. Pray as God begins to groom and to shape uh, and to purge those who are being raised up as many will come down who really truly are not for our Father. They're not for His will. They're not for holiness. They're not for really empowering people to have a strong relationship with Jesus Christ, okay? All right, you guys have a blessed afternoon. Stay alert. Stay discerning for your regions, okay? Bless you.